Just as harmonic rhythm is a measure of how fast chords change, we can observe a comparable phenomenon that we can call rate of modulation. In some cases, one modulation may suffice for an entire section of a large work, whereas in others, modulation may occur in every bar or two. As mentioned above, the latter situation is typical of development sections in many classical sonatas, so that they're perceived as more intense in the exposition. A musical form that simply remains at the same level of intensity becomes monotonous. There should be moments that are more and less intense than the others. The form needs to breathe. Speeding up the harmonic rhythm and or the rate of modulation is an excellent way to increase tension. Note that changes of harmonic rhythm and in the rate of modulation are always heard in relation to an existing norm. A more or less constant rate of modulation is a higher level pattern which then makes contrast effects very potent. For example, when the tonic returns after the development section of a classical sonata. Since modulation is essentially about creating novelty in the form, a sensitive performer who understands modulation will know where and how to underline the novelty. This may involve coloring the arrival of the new pitches with more vibrato on the violin or the oboe, bringing out the bass line for a pianist, or applying some rubato for a conductor. Of course, these changes need to be applied according to the music's overall character. A huge pause for a minor local modulation will distort the form. Underlining important moments in the form should usually be fairly subtle, but well done, it greatly heightens the music's expressive effect. A section of a larger movement where the rate of modulation accelerates will need to be presented in a way that brings out the intended increase in intensity. This affects pacing, another fundamental aspect of musical performance.